um, when you were praying, you felt she felt over, overwhelming joy in her heart when you prayed for her last week. Praise God. I know the presence of God was on you, Stephanie. Stephanie, I really want to encourage you because I see such a change in you. I see that God is just drawing you deeper into your spiritual life. Yeah. And that's where you spend eternity. And that's where you want to grow the most. And, and the Lord says that when you put that heaven first, him first, all else will just fall into place. So Yay. keep on that path. The Lord is on you right now as well. Yay, yeah. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. More of you for Stephanie, Father. Yes, Lord. Father, all distractions, everything that wants her time. Just overwhelm. I just really feel the Holy Spirit is wooing you deeper into him right now. Give her an overwhelming desire for more of you. We thank you, Lord, that you bless this family. We thank you for all that you're doing in our families. So, so hold on. Michael, Stephanie muted you. So we bless you all. Are you all done? Oh, um, Stephanie <laughs> was. <laughs> I'm leaving for the total complete healing for Lynette. Amen. I wasn't going to let that slide by, Michael. No way. So, Father, we're all praying for Lynette. We yes. overtake every diagnosis on her. We decree and declare that Jesus is Lord. Thank you, Father God, the Ancient of Days. Overtake Lynette. We thank you that we keep seeing more progress in her, Lord. We thank you for your love filling this beautiful girl from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. We release your joy into Lynette, Father, and your peace in Jesus' beautiful name. And bless you, Lee. Father, we want to pray right now for everyone who has a child that is autistic. We release your fire. Yes, into Lord. them father yes, each Lord. child we decree and declare wholeness you paid the price for them to be made whole we will not tolerate lack mm. wow the power just moved right there thank you lord oh, father yes. in their digestive systems in their cognitive everything about them we give you all the glory and Father, we encourage their parents, those who take care of them, to not give up hope. I have so many clients that have seen progress, slow, 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 but continuing progress, Father. Nothing is hard for you. We stay on our knees praying for each of us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Be blessed, Yuli. Power of God is on you. Fill Yuli, Lord. Yes, Lord. I receive it. Oh, yeah. Fill Yuli, Lord. Overtake her afresh and anew, Lord. I really sense that God is bringing you into deeper levels of prayer, Yuli. Yes. Yep. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yep. Oh, yes. That's fire on your head, Yuli. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Jesus. Yep. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. How many of us know the story of Pentecost? All of us, yeah? How many of us know we need them to do it again? Yeah, come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Wow. The fire has went right through your heart, Yuli. Ah. 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 Okay, we're jealous. Thank you, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Bless her. Bless her. Bless her. Jesus, yeah. Jesus, Jesus. You need more joy, Yuli. Thank oh, you, God, for all of her family in, I forget, oh, Philippines Jesus. that are becoming saved. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, more, Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Marta, you feel the anointing? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Martin, what would you like from the Lord? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you asking me? Yes. What would you yes, like? Yes, I, I wanted to testify. <laughs> Amen. 
Remember, I I, I asked for prayer. Yeah. And uh, and you said you're gonna cover me with prayer. Mm -hmm. You said you already cover. You you uh, you said that. And I start to read the Bible. And all of a sudden, as I was reading, I start to feel that joy bubbling in something stirring up in my belly. It was exactly. literally like a, like a like a like a tornado. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the joy, and I start to laugh. And I said, Praise God, you Lord, thank you, Jesus. I was so happy, you know, it was it was something um, you know, we don't experience every day. So you know that that joy, and we we've we just had the, the, the meeting on a Friday and pastor was preaching about joy, joy. and um, <laughs> it was amazing. It was you amazing. Know, I, I want to tell you that we really do have a well within us. Yes. All of us. Yes. We have a well within us. Now I know where my well is. Okay. I know anytime I'm dry, I can go there and I can drink living water. It's a real place within us. Ask the Lord to show you, where's your well? Where's your well? And then ask him, how am I going to drink, Lord? Like Gideon's army. <sighs> Amen. You want to drink deeply. God has so much for us. Father, we release your beautiful fire into Marta. Thank you that you overtake every plan that the enemy has to even think about coming against her health. We break every ancestral generational curse on her, anything coming against her life. You will not hinder her. You will not use up her time, even her thoughts, thinking about what's going on here. We overtake it with the blood of Jesus right now. Thank you, Lord. Any numbers, anything that she has seen, Anything that is trying to do anything with her blood pressure, anybody's blood pressure in this meeting, mm -hmm. we overtake you now. We don't receive your gifts, devil. We're sending them right back to you. You're the one who messed up. You're the one with the problems. We are the healed and redeemed of the Lord. We decree it and we declare it. And I want you to know, devil, that God laughed, laughed at you thinking you were going to raise her blood pressure because you're not going to do it. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank Father, you, Jesus. fill her afresh and anew. Fill Michael. I know he's not done yet. <laughs> for some reason, <laughs> the enemy doesn't want me praying for Michael today, but we're praying for you, Michael. I'm Let's right all here. pray for him. Enjoy, Marta. Yeah. Fire Thanks. is really moving into you now. Take a deep breath, Marta. <sighs> you can let him let it out. Father, we thank you for Michael. We overtake everything of the enemy. Move in Jesus' name out of him. Thank you, Father. Yeah, say goodbye, devil. Goodbye, devil. We are done with you, devil. We remember we are supernatural beings. We remember who our God is. We remember we don't have to put up with you. In Jesus' name. Stephanie, time to get to the ministry. Put your hand on your dad's back. Say, devil, get out of my dad. Devil, get out of my dad. I'm tired of you bringing pain in my dad. I'm tired of you bringing pain for my dad. My dad will live. My dad will live. Without pain. Without pain. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I remember it's in his word. I remember it's in his word. And I declare my dad pain free. And I declare my dad pain free. In yes. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. Thank you, Father. Woo. That's right. Woo. Every day, Stephanie, pray for your dad. Hallelujah. Wow. How wonderful is that? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You're very welcome. Proud of you guys. Okay. okay. Marta, we believe. What'd you feel happen while we were praying? I felt the presence of God and it's like, like power, almost like electricity. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord wants you to remember he laughs at those numbers. Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank well, Quisha, you are next. How are you, sis? I'm feeling good. 
Welcome. What would you like from the Lord? Um, just to um, to be able to build myself up spiritually um, and to do it, find my purpose in him. There you go. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Well, we all welcome you. Amen. You can relax. Okay. You believe Jesus will do it? Yes. yes. Yeah, he has a lot for you. Father, we release your beautiful love into Laquisha. Thank you, Father. Overtake every emotion. This is Jesus giving you a hug. You're going to feel some emotions. Just let him have it. Thank you, Lord. He wants you to know your purpose is in him, and he is right there with you. Thank you, Lord. I can tell you what he's doing. He is healing some wounds, and he's taking out some lack in your life. He's filling you with him. Yeah. Do you sense his presence? Very warm. Thank you, Father. Father, overtake everything in the belly. Thank you, Jesus. This is a beautiful thing that Jesus is doing. Thank you, Lord. He wants you to know that you are welcome in his family, Laquisha. He loves you. He doesn't want you to ever feel left out again. We don't want you to feel left out either. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. So the Lord is removing the wounds that brought you to a place of feeling alone. And he's filling that with him. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. Yeah, he's empowering you, sister. That's what he's doing. <laughs> How's it feel? Good. Very good. He's real. And you are very real to him. He loves you. Those aren't just words. He's watching out for you. Amen. What do you feel happening? I'm just happy. Amen. I know this is new to you, but we are so happy you are here. Yes. Amen. And it's our honor to be able to spend time with God and you. Praise God. Hi, sis. Good morning, awesome. Australia. 558. <laughs> Good morning. The Lord woke me up today. I forgot all about the meeting. Half asleep and I jumped out and I'm thinking, why am I awake? My shoulder. Really? I have done something. Oh. You didn't see that before? No. So the enemy's picking on the other shoulder this time, huh? Oh. Can you lift your shoulder? What's going on? You got pain? You still lifting it? Yeah, I'm lifting it. Okay. So let's see what the Lord has for you. If he woke you up, there's a reason. You believe he'll do it? Oh, yeah. Father, we release your healing into your beautiful daughter. Wow, the Lord is just flooding me, reminding me of all the things he has done just recently in you and your son. Thank you, Father, that you overtake it. We bind the enemy who keeps trying to hurt her. We cancel these plans and these patterns in Jesus' name. So, Father, we thank you that you release a weapon of heaven to protect your daughter. In mm. Jesus' mighty name, we command all pain and all trauma out of her right now. And the Lord is putting you back in alignment, your spine. Thank you, Father. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Get out now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Go. Fire, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Let's all pray. Thank you. What would you do if somebody in your family was all of a sudden attacked by an enemy? Right. See, this is exactly what's happening to Priscilla right in front of us. It's manifesting. What would you do? Pray. Tell it. Get out in Jesus. <laughs> Did you all do it? <laughs> You're not coming back either. Thank you. <coughs> so this entered through a door that was opened by fear. Father, close these doors in Jesus' name. Okay, <laughs> Bianca, you are next. Hi, how are you? I am well. How are you? Good. Just suffering from a migraine. 
again. Migraine. And, hmm. And if possible, maybe some deliverance. If possible, God. nothing is if impossible. possible. <laughs> nothing is impossible. What's your, what's going on? What do you need deliverance about? Um. Never mind. That's I, yeah, I think Father, you, I, yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. The Lord told me. Thank you, Father. We release your fire into Bianca. Let's all pray for our sister. We're all in training here. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Out of the female parts in Jesus' mighty name. Release your ice from heaven in Jesus' name. There's such a strong fire in you between your throat and your breasts. Overtake it in Jesus' name. Everything in the lungs, everything in the back, everything around her, everything that wants to squeeze her life. We cut you from her in Jesus' name. Ooh, I hear your bones cracking in the spirit realm. The Lord is adjusting you, Bianca. Thank you, Jesus. Free every nerve, Lord. Yeah, you are having surgery right now in Jesus' name. I see your spine is being just straightened right up, your nerves, your muscles, and it's actually leaving your ears. Glory to God, whatever he wants to do. Amen. 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 Okay, weapon off the throat right now in Jesus' name. So I'm hearing in the spirit round, you keep going around the same circle. You're tired of it all. Yeah. In Jesus' name, take this over, Father. Thank you, Father. We release our prayers into your family. So I feel I actually, the Lord is actually letting me sense your headache. We overtake that now in Jesus' name. Get out. Thank you, Jesus. Bianca, I pray that you listen to this video a couple of times. Remember, the Lord is with you. We cast our cares upon him. We cannot change people. People have free will. Our prayers change people. Father, release your love into this family afresh and anew. Father, remove the hardness of hearts in Jesus' name. Penetrate these hearts. Release an arrow from heaven to go through the hardness of hearts. This whole family loves each other. They just have had so much struggle. They need Jesus to intervene and take over, Lord. That is our prayer for you, dear sister. How you feel? It's still it, leaking a little. <laughs> you feel a little nauseous in your belly? Overtake that, Jesus. Father, we ask you to release angels to help her with everything in the house. Minister to her. Strengthen her. Be her strength in Jesus' beautiful name. Amen. Move your neck and shoulders around. They're looser. Amen. Amen. So we're here for you. Much love to you. Thank you. You are so welcome. It's our honor to pray with you. Manuela, I see you waving. How are you, sis? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you so much for your word. Praise the Lord. I have a little testimony, Maggie. I Amen. Think. For many years, I pray that the Lord give me the spirit of Caleb and Joshua because of the times that are ahead of us, because we need it so much. And this was a good word for me today. Good word. Yeah, yes. I already see that I, spirit on you. Yes, and I had, um, this spirit is on me? That spirit is on you. What? you. And you know, I had in many dark hours, I, I wrote down the things God did for me. And when I'm pretty much down and I'm not motivated, I read all this. Amen. Exactly. You remember. Again. Yes, exactly. I remember all the good God has already done for me. And sometimes I was very low and I just knew and I remembered 
I would be dead if God wouldn't have saved me. That's absolutely right. Me too. It always helps me. You know, we have to look for the good God already did, and he will do even more. And speak of our testimonies. Yes. You know, yes. I the, the most people that have come to the Lord in, in my life have come, not because I tell them about the Bible. It's when I speak of what God has done in my life, when I was having a hard time. That's what makes people want to give their lives to Jesus. And what does it look like to see the spirit of Caleb and Joshua? I'll, I can tell you because I see it on you for real. You know, in the face of giants, in the face of pandemics, in the face of famine, in the face of control, you're going to speak about God. You're going to do what he yeah. told you to do. And I knew You're not going to fear them. I know that all my life, you know, even I'm 17 years with Jesus, but I know all my life I am made for a time as this. Exactly. And Lord is telling me this all this year. You are made for a time like this. Mm -hmm. So we give God all the glory. Amen. So, Father, we release you into Manuela. Have your way in her. Fill her, Lord. Fill her for her assignment. Thank you, Lord. I want to love the Lord more than my life. Amen. In Revelation. You know, Moses was known as a meek man, but Joshua was a warrior. He saw all the wars, all the stuff that went on, and God used him mightily. Amen. Amen. So his love comes to you in a different way, Manuela. It comes more as the God of war. Amen as the lion of the tribe of Judah. Amen. Yes, amen. And I amen. hear the lion roar. I amen. Roar. Yes, yes, he does. Amen. So keep praying. We give God all the glory for such a time as this. I really think that the patriarchs would be jealous to be here, right? Hi, Peggy. Can you hear me? I can. How are you? Testimony, do. prayer? Well, both. I, I um, can always testify to his faithfulness. <laughs> Just been so what faithful. happened last time so the um the next day i had you know i still had bad dreams that night and the next day though i was worshiping him and um he he was just delivering me and loving on me and he um baptized me with fire and i know so, i know he touched you we, we saw him on you amen yeah so i i was so blessed so blessed so more, I just, huh? yeah, still praying about the dreams and more joy. Yeah. More joy, more joy. Thank you, Jesus. Hi, Chantel. Yes, hello. Hello, God bless you. Let's all pray for Jen. Father, we release the name of Jesus into her dreams. Psalms 119.22. Thank you, Lord. Everything that you are teaching her about warfare, Father, let her not fear it. Let her speak to you in the dream. And you show her what you're trying to get through to her. In Jesus' mighty name. Overtake this void, Lord, of the enemy in the night seasons. So, Father, we overtake this altar. We overtake this evil void. This altar, whatever was exchanged, whoever exchanged it, we overtake it with fire. Father, we ask you to destroy this altar with your anointing in Jesus' mighty name. What do you sense is going on, Chantel? I just feel his like his strength in you. Um, and I have this verse actually. Uh, he's comforted me with it a lot of times uh, with dreams. It's just that uh, in Psalm 139, it says, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. So he's always, always, always there with you. And he will fight for you 
will always fight for you. And he is, he's there and his fire is there and his light is there. And he's like, he's strengthening you and like making you into like this warrior, this, yeah. this warrior for him. Yeah. And nothing will move you. You're not, you can't be moved. You can't be moved. That's just what I feel. Praise God. Thank you. Very well done. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is letting me see in this void and, and I'm just seeing like stars and stuff. So Father, we overtake every spirit of astrology, all divination from her. Father, we command this void closed right now in Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Feels like he's sewing me up with electricity. <laughs> yeah. And I saw some more stuff leave you and I still see something is trying to leave the right side of your face. And I absolutely agree with you that he is closing this void right now. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is lifting off of you, Jen. Thank you, God. <sighs> Thank you, Lord, for setting her free. Mm -hmm. Father, we repent for all the sins of our ancestors. We remember that you forgive us in our generation. Thank you, Lord. What do you sense he's doing? Yeah, just feel that fire over here, like electricity right here. Get ready for tomorrow, girl, because the day after, the day after, the Lord keeps battling for you. Amen. <laughs> you stay there. Let's pray for Chantel. What would you like from the Lord, Chantel? I have a testimony from last time. Okay. I'm still on mute. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So before, when I raised my hand before I could even ask, um, you said the Lord took something out of this eye, right? And that was my prayer request um, because... My parents took me to the optometrist. I didn't want to go because I'm like, I know he can heal me. But then I figured if I get the prescription, I could have like a legit testimony to tell people. Like, okay. okay. I knew nothing about your eye, by the way. That was God. Okay. Yeah, it was God. And that was actually his love. He told me later on because I, was, I wasn't going to ask for healing. I thought I didn't have enough faith for it. But he taught me before you even ask. <laughs> I, I, I got it. So, um, and then I went to the optometrist and he put the machine on me, you know, to test the glasses thing. And then he said, you can't have glasses because I didn't want them anyways. But he, he's like, because this one's so much weaker that if you have glasses on, your brain's going to get confused. And in a, yeah, it's, it's that much weaker. It's like a five. I don't know if, I don't know if it was like a plus or a minus five, but this one's fine. Anyway, so um, yeah, that happened. And then I just want to let you guys know, like when I was at, when I'm studying or reading or on the laptop, it's just, it's just maybe like in 20 minutes, my head would start hurting like this side. And um, when I'm outside, um, just walking around, my head would start hurting <laughs> because of the eye. And, and just, I've just been living like that. I didn't ask for prayer for it because I, I, I asked for spiritual things that I, I was like, I'll just, I don't know. I just forgot about it. Anyway, so since prayer, it never hurt. It's been <laughs> and, and I had my final exams all week. So I was studying, you know, late in the night. Everything's on my laptop, like my classes and stuff. It didn't hurt. And how's your sight? Oh, that could be healed. Like I could have that back, but. But like the pain. Is it good or do you need more? No, I, 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 I told him I need you to like, I need sight. Amen. So, so, so the Lord wants you to remember what do we do when something's wrong with us, but we don't think we have enough faith for him to heal it. We ask other people to stand in faith for us. Wow. We don't let the enemy stay. We don't let it get worse. Amen. Amen. Bungie, the spirit of the Lord is on Michael right now. Thank you, Father. Driving home. Thank you, Jesus. Let's all pray for Chantel. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You are the God of wonder. You wanted to heal what was going on with her brain. The eye is easy. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus.
Father, we release your power and your healing into your daughter right now. Total healing of the eye. You made those eyes to see. And we stand in faith. And where we lack Jesus, fill in the blank. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Healing of the eye. Father, everything that's attached to our heart about this and sight overtake it in Jesus' name. Overtake all the fear that the enemy has placed in this beautiful young girl that belongs to you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. All weapons out, sickness out, restoration of the Lord in, healing balm, Lord, into Chantel. We remember your miracles, Lord. We remember your prayers, Jesus. By my stripes, you are healed. Thank you, Lord. Jen's receiving that word as well. In Jesus' name. What do you feel happening, Chantel? It's like hot inside my eye. Like Amen. Yeah. That's God healing you. Thank you, Jesus. So fear entered your heart about your eyesight. The Lord overtook that as well. No. Anytime we have a problem, we ask for prayer. Amen. And that is the key is to remember Jesus is praying for us. Where is he? In heaven. The Holy Spirit's also our great intercessor. Where's the Holy Spirit? So we got double prayer coverage, okay? And if we still don't believe, we reach out to each other. Where two or three are gathered. You got the vision? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord. Bungie, the Lord has located you. We want to pray for her husband. Yes. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Hi Peggy. Bungie. God bless you. So we want to pray for Michael. He is on his way home from Texas. From Ohio. Ohio. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you, Lord. Father, release your fire into Michael. You come against every creep. That's bacteria. That's virus. That's flu. Everything that regenerates in the cells, we overtake you with fire. Okay, so the fire of God is in his head, removing congestion. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Father, we release your healing power into every system of Michael. Yes. Wow, the Lord is really touching Michael's heart. Michael and God are having an experience in this car right here. Even before we started praying. Thank you, Lord. I'm just butting in on it right now. Thank you, Father. Yeah, they are chatting. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for strengthening Michael. Yes. For yes. overtaking every concern about the job. Mm -hmm. Everything <laughs> about the virus. Yes. Everything about bringing the virus home. And we give you all the glory, Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because we remember nothing is hard for you. So the pressure is actually leaving his mind right now, mm -hmm. right here. So I know his systems are being opened up in Jesus' name. How are you? I'm okay. Praise Thank the you. Lord. Praise yes, the Lord. praise the Lord. Bless her, Lord, indeed. Fill her with more peace. I know you said you're okay, but your heart is telling me you're stressed out. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Father, we thank you that we lift up the impenetrable shield. <sighs> Nobody else gets sick. There it goes. Thank you, Jesus. He loves us. He loves us. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father healing in this family we give you all the glory in jesus mighty name amen amen what do you sense god is doing bunghi feel peace you needed that yes i need that and joy 
<laughs> Amen. Praise God. So we give God all the glory. Amen. So let me know yeah. how he's doing. Test, send me a text when he gets home. Okay, I have one more prayer request. Yeah, this is, sounds good. interesting, but a few days ago, uh, before I wake up, I have a, a receding gum since an uh, orthodontic procedure. Um, so doctors say, dentists say, um, I cannot get rid of the receding gum problem, but I've been praying, 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 grow the gum again and cover my old teeth. And then a few days ago, um, I said, um, I had a dream, I said, ask for Peggy <laughs> and you are healed. <laughs> So like Chantel praying, you know, got prayer from you guys. And I'm like, okay, I'm okay. going to ask a prayer, but I try to do my faith. Like she said, Amen. so I didn't ask you, but yeah. <laughs> so I hear God laughing right now because he told Chantel the same thing the other day. And that is what he wants. He wants us all to stand in faith with each other. Amen. So father, we release your healing into her gums. You have healed this woman of so much. Your yes. miracle power is dwelling within her. Father, let your glory go forth. So, Father, yes. we thank you that your glory has gone forth into Bungi to show who alone is God. And we give you all the glory. Amen. 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 Glory. Tell that. I reminded her. I said, remember what God did for you. Because the doctor told her last week that she's got stage three kidney disease, but she has no pain after you prayed for her. She said, I'm, I have no pain. So yeah. come out Sorry. of the tomb. Yes. Come out Death of the tomb. The and the miracle working power is in her. So we thank you for healing her kidneys. And we thank God for all he has done in our lives. Amen. 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 Good to see you thank both. God. Hi, Riley. God Hi. bless you. Roman, how are you? Hi, Peggy. It's 8 o'clock in the evening. I was 12 hours at work, so. What is it like to be healed from uh, 29 years of chronic fatigue? 12 hours you worked? Yes. How'd that feel? Oh, that's all right. <laughs> it was only 20 years, but that's, that's also. How many years was it? Only 20. Oh, 20 years. That's a lot of time. 12 hours. We give God the glory, huh? So what would you like from the Lord? Well, I have a few things. I have a tinnitus. You know, tinnitus, like a buzzing or fizzing in the ear, mm -hmm. in the head. Mm -hmm. Then I have fear of darkness. And then I would like to pray for my mom. She's over 70 years old. And she lost her pride at this age already. And um, she's losing her mental cap uh, capabilities quite fast. And I would like to pray for her salvation. Oh, me too. Me too. You ready, everyone? Let's pray. Let's believe. Father, we release you into Roman's mom. Father, overtake everything. Wow. Make yourself so real, Lord. Overtake everything the enemy is using to steal, kill, and destroy from her with your love and your fire. Father, touch her heart. Remove every scale of the enemy and enter her, Lord. We believe, Father. Okay, so the Lord has given me a word. And it's, yeah. in, it's in the what we just heard from him. <clears throat> Remember, Roman, that you are God's minister. Get used to it. You are God's minister, okay? <clears throat> when you go, when you talk to your mom, his power is present to heal. Amen. Amen. Do you talk to her on the phone or do you get to visit her? Visit her. Yeah. Both. Yeah. I'm, I'm sensing that something is leaving the back of her mind on the left side right now in Jesus' name. Father, I have seen you heal people of dementia that didn't even ask for prayer during prayer meetings just like this. 
We know nothing's hard for you. We pray for her salvation and we believe, God, that this is from you. You want her saved for your mom's salvation. Amen. Amen. Father, we overtake everywhere that fear entered Roman of the darkness when he was little. We overtake it right now with your beautiful light. Let your word be on the floor, Father. That as he walks through his house, Father, that that light rises up within him. We stand on your word and we overtake fear of darkness in Jesus' name. In Roman. This is leaving your eyes right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your light entering Roman. What was the other thing that you wanted? The, the bus up. Uh, you understand? You believe? If I believe. Me too. Yes, you I believe. You believe, people of God? We believe. Thank you, Father, that you overtake tinnitus in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, that your living water is flowing in his head right now. Thank you, Father. And dropping into the depths of Roman, overtake all, Father, in Jesus' name. So I saw water entering your ear, and now there's fire. But it's, got, it's not just in your ear. It's all around the back of your head. Thank you, Lord, for healing tinnitus. And, Lord, we give you all the glory for all that you are doing in Roman's life. Thank you, Father. Your life encourages me, Roman. We continue to pray for one another. Amen. Okay. What do you want to say to Jesus? Well, I want to thank him. Thank you, Jesus. And I want more of you. That's what I'd be saying. Yes. Amen. We agree mm -hmm. with you. We will keep your mom lifted up and we look forward to all that God will do. Amen. 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 God bless you. Anne, how are you? I can't hear you though. Can you can you text me? Can you chat right in here what you want prayer for? Okay, you prayed for me for hemorrhoids and it is a little better, but swelling is still there. Well, thank you Jesus. We overtake that in Jesus mighty name. So first you thought it was anal prolapse, then it was hemorrhoids, but whatever it is, we release the fire of God into it right now. The fire is all the way in your intestines, from your bowels, from the anus. We overtake this in Jesus' mighty name. Up into the lungs. Have your way, Father. Have your way, Father. We give you all the glory. What do you feel in your belly right now? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Okay, so now that's why the fire was going all the way up inside of you. Father, heal our hormones as well. In Jesus' mighty name, everything be put back in balance. We give you all the glory. More love into Martin in Jesus' mighty name. More love into Martin in Jesus' mighty name. We give you all the glory for this family, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Do you feel the presence of the Lord? Just shake your head yes or no. Praise God. We believe with you, Anne. I think I'm the only one who calls you Gabriel. Hello. How are you? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> well, what would you like from Jesus? Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want to believe the Lord again for the thing deliver. that's shaking inside of you. Yeah. Okay. Father, we overtake it with fire in Jesus' name. All of it, Lord. Fire, Lord. I bind you. All of you. All your tentacles. I command you out of him. Out of the male parts. Every area of him we overtake you with consuming fire. In Jesus. Mighty name. Fire every, every wound from fornication. We overtake it in Jesus' name. Every wound from hypnosis. We overtake it in Jesus' name. 
with the blood. Let the blood flow in Jesus. Out of him. Consuming fire in the chest, the lungs, the front of his body in Jesus' name. What do you sense God is doing, Gabriel? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I just feel like... Right here. Pay attention. Right here. Thank you, Father. Out. All brainwashing out. Every covered curse. We overtake you in fire. Let the blood uncover all divination used against him. In Jesus' name now. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Father, release your anointing to destroy this in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Fire, Father. Every layer in Jesus' name. Everyone pray. Thank you, Father. We remember you, Lord. We put you in remembrance, Father, that you are his deliverer. Thank you, Father. We break your hold from him. Let him go. It's leaving you right now. Thank you, Jesus. This is witchcraft leaving you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, everything else that hasn't manifested, I command it to manifest right now in Jesus' name. Move. Go from him. All, Father, all consuming fire. I speak to you. Peace be still. You are not coming back in Jesus' name. Let him go. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. It's leaving your mind. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. My hand is on your belly in the spirit realm. Thank you, Father. We overtake this with your love, Father. You can't have him. He's going to fulfill his destiny in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. How are you feeling? I'm um, just, just real peaceful. Praise God. Okay. I want you to read the story about um, the man from Gadira, the guy who had the legion. Yeah, I want you to understand how the spirit works, okay? Yeah. So you get delivered, but then you sense that it's coming back again. You can sense it. It almost feels like it's in you, that real, okay? It's the storm. They always send out the storm first. We speak to that storm. Peace be still. Peace be still. Yeah. And it can't come back. It's not going to surround you. And it's not going to torment you. So that's your homework. Okay. Okay. You have such yeah. an amazing calling on your life. God bless you. you. All right. Let me Thank know you. how you're doing. Much love to love you, me. Gabriel. God's got you. We're here for you. Thank Anybody you. else Thank need you. prayer? Danette, what have you been doing? Hi there. Hi I got there. A, last Sunday, as you know, I was in AFib. And I thought when we were doing the concert, I thought that I was not, but when I got in it, it, I realized that I could not breathe. I had one of those stupid masks on and I was breathing. And it's just like, before I went out there, I remember thinking and saying to the Lord, Lord, I cannot do this. And I remember what you told me. You said that the Lord was going to be with me during this concert. Sitting on the bench sitting on the bench with me and it's just like I have never ever played a concert like that in my 55 years that I've been playing 
And it was the hardest thing. And I realized that even though my heart was going all over the place and trying to take my mind, trying to take my concentration, and I'm trying to stay focused because we've got an audience, we've got a choir, and it's like they are depending on me. And it's like, I am not going to make a scene here with me fainting in front of everybody because I can't breathe and my heart's going all over the place rhythm wise. You catch but that made- vision and bring it to the Lord. Oh man, but I did it. And um, that night I couldn't go to sleep. So obviously I had to go to the hospital because I, I, I could not, I couldn't breathe. Uh, but I did it though. <laughs> I endured through that. I endured. And it's like, it's like, I don't think we realize how strong we are as God's children. We are stronger than we think we are. Because We're supernatural. <sighs> And I guess that really rang true. Like I'm stronger than I thought I was. And it's like, I knew, I told the Lord, I said, I cannot do this without you. And I said, I can't do anything without him. No. And I said, the, I said, the devil is not taking this gift that God has given me. He, he tried very hard to get rid of this gift that he's given me. And I said, no this gift I have is for God. God has ordained me with this gift to give it away. So I had to speak that. And then uh, now I just, I need some prayer. I got some pain in my, in my uh, female region and I don't know what's going on there. And (laughs) I think the devil's, I think the devil figured out, well, I'm not going to mess around with her heart anymore. Let's try something else. Yeah. uh, Let's show him who our God is. Amen. Our God is good. Our God is good. God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much for all that you have done in this beautiful woman's life. A life of fear, delivered, miracle after miracle after miracle. You put her back in ministry. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy fought you so hard not to let you go back into worship, but Jesus was sitting on the bench with you. Amen. Amen. everywhere the enemy is messing with her overtake it everything that entered through fear trauma and the hospital we overtake you with fire right now let her go oh thank you lord oh thank you lord hello jesus what do you sense god is doing right now although i just had a it felt like a cloud of something just, just like entered you. Yes, that's why I said, hello, Jesus. Wow, we, wow, we give you all the glory, Shikana. So the Lord is telling me, as in the days in the wilderness, my cloud covered my people. They had no problems, no health issues. Their shoes never wore out, Dianette. Neither did their clothes. Neither did their clothes. He fed them. He provided for them. He's got you. And in the spirit realm, I just saw Jesus. I know this may sound weird to people watching this, but he drew a heart around your heart. Your heart is not the shape of a heart. We know what a heart looks like, a human heart. But Jesus drew a heart over your heart. Thank you, God. Take her deeper, Lord. Okay, I'm going with God here. Take her into the depths, Lord, of the oceans. Into the marine kingdom, Lord, who brought all of this trauma into her life. Take her deeper, Lord, in understanding to defeat this kingdom. Wow, God is seriously putting strength into you right now. Thank you, Lord. Father, remind her that she is a supernatural being. We give you all the glory. Because she carries our supernatural God. Wow, the Lord is really strengthening you. Wow, thank you, Lord. Mm. wow 2022 i can't wait to see what he does with you after this my 
goodness. Father, I decree and declare that as she plays, your healing will go forth in these concerts. That you will supernaturally set people free as she plays. Father, the enemy fought so hard for her not to play. There must be a serious anointing in there. Let's pray it out. In Jesus' name. Oh, we give you all the glory, Lord. Ooh, my goodness, the power of God is just flowing into you. Thank you, Lord. So what do you sense God is doing? I feel like I'm bursting at the seams. Yeah. So this is going to be good, Danette. Let's go deeper still. Yeah. Let's go deeper still. Let's keep seeing what God has. Amen. We give you all the glory. Hi, Foster. Good to see you. We're going to leave you in the glory, girl. Let me know Thank how you. things are going. God bless Thank you. you. Oh, Lord, did you text me something here? And people that don't even want prayer that are getting healed. It's been very, very exciting. And uh, just God revealing things that have happened even 30, 40 years ago that they've been through trauma very specifically. Um, things like that. So it's been very, very exciting to see. And I uh, want to give God all the glory for what he's doing. It's amazing to see things that are happening. You start to just turn to someone and say, hey, this is what happened to you when you were nine years old on the last day of school. You know, what is that? What, what do you call that? that? That's I a guess word, of word of knowledge. Word of knowledge. Yeah. And what uh, is it when you talk to when you go in the other direction into the future? That's a word of wisdom. <laughs> Yeah, word of wisdom. Yeah. So sometimes I know God gives like a word of a word of knowledge and then a word of wisdom to to show what to do with it. You know, and and so people are getting broke off from trauma from things that happened, you know, 30, 40 years ago. And God's healing their heart, healing them physically right there. So it's super exciting and uh, super exciting because we are supernatural. How can yeah. we carry God and not see supernatural? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. And uh, he's like, oh, I could use some of that. And, uh, you know, it was really amazing. So I said, yeah, you, you've had uh, cortisone shots in your neck and in your right hip, you know, just a few days ago. And you've had this for like many, many years. God's going to lift that off you right now. And he was so open. He got completely healed right there. He started pouring out his heart. I started sharing about people that we got to minister to that struggle with drug addiction. God shows us how their family members are struggling with drug addiction. And he says, my daughter has been struggling with drug addiction. She just got pregnant. It's... We're really concerned about her. And I said, oh, here's my email. We're going to pray for your daughter. And you're going to see this getting broke off. Like God's really, really working. Nice, in God. I'm telling so you. He will go him. through. If, if one person comes for prayer, just expect he's going to hit the whole family, Randy. It's amazing. Yeah. That's who God is. So let's, let's all pray for Randy. Chantel. We want more anointing for Chantel. Amen. Father, <laughs> more. More, Lord. More for Randy. I just sense the Lord wants more for all of us. More of you. Wow. Fire's released. Thank you, Lord. Into you, Randy. Thank you, Jesus. Yep. Fire's going through the room. Thank you, Lord. Father, we humble ourselves before you. We thank you for your anointing. We want you more than anything. More than anything. But we are honored to carry you and release you and your power into your harvest field. Use us, Lord, divine appointments. Whoa, excuse me, that was a lightning from heaven. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. I see fire on your hands, Randy, more, Lord. Wow, I am seeing fire on the hands that are raised right here in this room. Thank you, Lord. We honor you, Holy Spirit. We want to be vessels of honor for you, Holy Spirit. Cleanse us, sanctify us, fill us, Lord, for your glory, for the glory of the Father. Father, you created us to work with you, not oppose you. Oh, my goodness, the anointing is really super strong. Father, we thank you for all that you are doing. May you be glorified as we humble ourselves to serve you in Jesus' mighty name. What do you feel happening, Randy? 
feel the, I feel the heat, I feel the anointing. It's amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, we give you all the glory, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for your great love for us. Father, and this was the word, my portion this morning. If you've been following this ministry, I'm not getting out of bed until God gives me my, my manna. I want my morning portion. And this morning it was uh, Solomon, I think one for draw. Yep, draw, draw me. We will run after you. The king brings me into his apartments. We will be glad and rejoice in you. We will recall when we were favored with your love, more fragrant woo, than wine. The upright are not offended at your choice. We sincerely love you, God. Have your way in us. In Jesus' name. Wowie, is this getting stronger or is it just me? Thank you, Jesus. He's the good. <laughs> Have your way, Lord. Have your way. We receive your word for 2022. We receive your job. We obey you, Lord. Have your way in us. We're not only going to remember you, Lord, and stir up you inside of us. We're going to obey you in the harvest field. We're going to speak of what you've done in our lives. And we're going to see people be set free. And they're going to want more of you, Lord. We give you all the glory. We ask that you seal us with your love. Protect us. Keep us humble. Keep us on our knees. Keep us in your word. We ask that you be delighted to remember that we are here to serve you in Jesus' beautiful name. Amen. Glory to God. JesusTodayMinistries.org. We are here to minister and to pray with you right in the comfort of your own home or your office. If you are seeking counseling, healing, deliverance, financial breakthrough, if you feel that there is a block or you're experiencing hindrance in your blessings, please know that God cares about you and all that concerns you. Hi, my name is Peggy Golden. I am a pastor and I have a master's in Christian counseling. God has made a way for people all over the world to receive counsel, healing, and deliverance through the use of technology right in your own homes. God heals, saves, and delivers his people every hour of the day. There is no distance for God. If you do not know God, if you are seeking him, or if you have found yourself in a situation that you need help getting out of, please know nothing is too hard for God. Please visit my website at Jesus Today ministries.org. You can get to know more about me there. And please remember to read the testimonials of what others have experienced by contacting this ministry. There is no fee, but you are able to make a donation. For those who are in the States as well as international clients, we can use voice or video chat on Skype WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, or Viber. I look forward to praying with you and all that God will do.